Hey guys, thanks for coming back to part two, painting with Margaret from Little Farm Charm. I just finished my second coat of primer on my antique and now it's time for chalk paint. I get asked a lot on what is my favorite chalk paint brand. And it's like answering a question, what's your favorite cookie? Do you really have one? But today we're gonna use Annie Sloan chalk paint in color cocoa. What I like about Annie Sloan are the color options. It's like they take a color like brown and they put a little bit of gray in it and they do that with all their colors and it kind of cools it down and mucks it up and makes it a little dirty and antique-y and I like that. Plus I ordered a crap load of it, like a crap load of it. So I have a ton and we're gonna use it. And if you ever need to order paint, check out the Purple Painted Lady. She's where I get all my paint from. She's now awesome. to the fun part. We're going to layer our chalk paint. So we have our primer. We're gonna put some cocoa chalk paint on here. And then we're gonna put some more cream chalk paint on top of it to kind of soothe it, layer it, and calm it down a little. Um, and this is always my favorite part because it freaks people out the most. It looks terrifying at the beginning, but once you do the layers, it starts to look really good. So let's start with some brush strokes. I kind of brush in those crazy X's that you saw in video one and then up and down. So we're gonna do like chunks of brown in different spots as you can see. And don't worry, we're gonna cover this with cream. And you're probably thinking, that looks awesome, Margaret. I know, it looks terrifying. But we are done with the brown. I did that all the way around the dresser. Trust me, it's gonna look good. And I promise I did this myself, even though it looks like my preschool child did it. But that just gave me a really good idea. Hey, Nikki, you missed a spot. And then you wanna sand between each layer with a really fine sandpaper just to get any bumps or any grooves off. So I'm just gonna lightly kinda of go like this and get any kind of bumps off this piece. Now that I've sanded between coats, I'm gonna do my next chalk paint color. I want lots of texture and dimension, so I have chosen another color by Annie Sloan called Old Okra, and it's a nice creamy color. Now I'm going to take the old okra and paint in the X's that I showed you in the up and down strokes again. And we're gonna do a lot on the browns to kind of cover them up. But at the same time, we're creating texture and layers. Now that I do that to the whole dresser, you can kind of see what it's starting to look like, where the brown is underneath the creamy part and it's starting to look kind of antique-y. That's exactly what we want. While the layers of chalk paint are drying on the dresser, this is a good time to work on hardware. I took all the poles off as you can see and I'm going to paint them. This is what they look like here. You can see they're a really nice shape. It's just the color I wanna change. So we're gonna go ahead and spray paint these guys. So get your gloves on, we're gonna get dirty. So no, these are not smiley faces. These are actually the hardware from my dresser. I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, spray that we have. It is Rust-Oleum Paint and Primer in One in a matte bittersweet. It's a really nice brown. We're gonna shake up the bottle and we're gonna do a quick coat. And as you can see, just lightly coat. And that's the key to spraying anything. Lightly coat and do, let it dry and do multiple layers. All right, while we're waiting for the hardware to dry, we're gonna do one of our last techniques called dry brushing. And if you don't know what that is, it's one of my favorite parts of painting because it gives it lots of character. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the brown, the cocoa color. We're gonna put our paintbrush in there and wipe a lot of it off on the can. Then you're gonna take a towel or paper towel and wipe the paint off. Yeah, it makes total sense when you just paid $35 a core for it, right? It's like liquid gold. And so what we're gonna do is now take almost a dry brush and just put a little bit of color and just gently stroke it um, to make it give texture. And here's one of the drawers to my dresser and I'm gonna do the dry brushing so I'll show you guys what it does. You can already see the texture in the cream but now when you go like this, it leaves just a little bit of brown on it and it kinda looks like that. Makes it look very antique. All right, you guys still with me? 
Hang in there, we're getting really close. All right, we are all done with the chalk painting. So now we're gonna do the distressing. I'm gonna get some sandpaper. I'm using a 220 grit, and I don't recommend anything lower than a 120, only because it can actually leave some scratch marks on it, which you probably don't want too much. Um, what we're gonna do is sand off some of the paint in places that we want it to look worn and vintagey. all the rest of the hardware and ta-da, she's all done. Thanks again for watching me paint this beautiful antique dresser. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Little Farm Charm. And if you want to see more videos, I'll be posting on YouTube at Little Farm Charm. So check it out. We'll see you guys later.